Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Do you know what the film Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets has in common with Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones? Sorry, no. No? Well, besides excluding the fact that they both came out in 2002 and were both composed by legendary John Williams, there is one more important piece of trivia. Whoa! Did you know that there was a track composed by John Williams that is completely identical in both movies? Whoa! Mega fans of John Williams may have spotted this back in the day, but if you haven't, you will see and hear what I am talking about. Let's watch these two scenes and you will hear the identical track. The first scene is from Star Wars in the very beginning of the movie when Anakin and Obi-Wan are chasing Zam the Assassin. is the Quidditch match from Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets. discovered this fun little piece of trivia over 10 years ago, but I could never find the track in the official Chamber of Secrets soundtrack. You could find it in the Star Wars soundtrack as track number 3, titled Sam the Assassin and the Chase Through Coruscant at the 2.33 minute mark. However, back in 2019, the Harry Potter, the John Williams soundtrack collection, limited edition 7 disc set that only produced 5,000 copies worldwide was released, and there the track was. Located on disc 4, track 20, titled Quidditch, second year, at the 3.20 and 4.04 minute mark. And yes, I own this collection. It is absolute perfection. Nice. So the track has a different name per franchise, but how did this happen? How is this one track in both movies, and which movie was it originally composed for? Well, sadly, there is no official statement about it. It is a known fact that William Ross, John Williams' longtime friend and fellow composer, adapted and conducted the music for Chamber Secrets because not only was John Williams composing music for these two films simultaneously, but he was also composing music for Catch Me If You Can and Minority Report, all for 2002 release. The rumors that the track was composed specifically for Star Wars, but by accident William Ross received the music and inserted into the Harry Potter movie. And since the track fit both scenes perfectly, it remained in both movies. And neither Lucasfilm nor Warner Brothers can hold sole ownership. And it's really weird how neither one of them was like, hey, you can't use our music. But who knows what happened? Let me know in the comments below if you knew about this little piece of trivia, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!